Gas. Right, in this video, quick, short, easy one, I'm connecting up my gas because I'm just about ready to uh, do that. And look, there it is there. Hang on, let's come down. Yay, we've got gas. Um, so obviously this introduction is being filmed at the at the end of the process, not the start of the process, because that wouldn't wouldn't be on if you yeah. oh that's complicated isn't it oh let's just do it right so i know technically you're uh, supposed to have a qualified gas man come and test your system before you uh, get it started at uh, at a cost of course as these things always are and he will give you a nice shiny certificate for it um, I may well do that in the future, and uh, that certificate, you know, will come in handy if, when I decide to uh, to possibly sell the van. Um, but to begin with, for the purposes of getting up and running and just uh, testing all the joints and connections uh, for my own peace of mind, all you really need is a bottle of this. So this is, uh, should I get a bit closer? Yeah, there you go. Uh, that stuff. So this is uh, it, oh, it's a bit dirty, isn't it? It's, uh, I've, I've had that a number of years, which is why there's there's a lot missing out of it. But this is a uh, Rothenberger uh, leak detection fluid with atomizer. Uh, so what that essentially does is uh, you spray that over your joints, and it's a bit like sort of fancy washing up liquid. Really, it will bubble and fizz and do all kinds of strange things if there is a gas leak, and it will be very obvious that you've got a gas leak. Um, once you've sprayed this on. Um, if there's no bubbles and fizzing, then essentially you're good to go. So let's start down at the uh, gas tank underneath and start spraying. Right, here we go, underneath the van again. Thought I'd done under here, but uh, obviously not. I, I'm not even gonna bother to put it on ramps because uh, that's, uh, that's so I can just, can't be bothered this morning really, to be honest. Um, so it's a bit of a squeeze uh, to say the least, but we'll do, we'll, we'll be all right, we'll be all right. It's not too far to the gas tank just over there. I will turn you around in a minute. So first things first is to uh, stick on the, uh, uh, the uh, what I call it, the bend over please, sir. Honestly, this won't hurt a bit, the uh, glove. and uh, turn my light round. So what I've got in preparation is uh, obviously the, the spray, uh, a cloth to clean it off afterwards, and a couple of uh, tight related tools, and, uh, and my light so I can see what I'm doing. Right, let's turn you around and uh, make a start. Right, so what I've done is I've been to uh, my local uh, filling station that sells uh, uh, gas and I've just popped uh, 10 litres in there so not too too much um, you know just for the purpose of, uh, of, of testing this and uh, so what we're going to do now is oh Christ that's a bit of a stretch for me without the ramps right <laughs> <coughs> take the cover off there uh, so we open uh, open that valve up to let the gas through and then we can give, let's get you in a bit closer so you can see what's going on. There we go, right. So what we simply do is give that joint there a little, a little squirt. No fizzing and bubbling. Give this one here a little squirt. And if nothing happens and it literally just drips off like water, trust me, that's a good thing. That's what you want. So yeah, no fizzy bubbling going on there. So we know that's all good. Let's just give those a little, uh, a little wipe. Right, and uh, put the cover on that because we're done with, uh, done with that one now. Right, that's the furthest way because that's in the middle of the van. Oh Christ, that's a stretch. Right, okay. We're moving back. Okay, so the next ones are the uh, the ones either side. Can you see that? Yeah, just about. So here's my uh, regulator uh, tucked up underneath there. So again, I'm going to spray both sides of that. We know there's gas uh, flowing because we've turned it on. And again, there's a, 
there's no bubbling going on there so we know that's uh, that's all good right so I'm now in the cupboard uh, under the fridge so I've got uh, my connection to the uh, boiler and the connection to the cooker so I've used the one with the water symbol on for the boiler and the one with the cooking pot for the for the cooker uh, so this white cable here comes up from underneath the the van and then goes into this little two-way manifold and the two tails go off that way uh, one to the other side to the Truma combi boiler and the other one just straight up to the cooker so first one to test of course is this uh, bottom one here so again give that a little spray and there's uh, no evidence of any bubbling there give that a clean so now let's turn on the cooker one. I'll come back to the boiler one in a second. So we turn on the cooker one. And again, give that a spray. Like so. And no evidence of any bubbling there, so we know that one's good. And the same with the top one, let's turn up one. Yep. Nope, that's all good. All right. I wonder if it's possible to just demonstrate what that uh, what that actually looks like. Can I undo that one just slightly? Let's see if I can undo that just a little bit. Actually, do you know what? The Fernox I've used is so good that even with that completely undone look, the pipe is still uh, still solid up inside there. Uh, I'm going to show you what I've used there in a minute when I finish, but that actually just goes to prove just how good that is. That can literally come completely loose look, and it's still good. So we know we're okay there. Right, let's go up to the sink. The cooker, rather. So what I've done with that is uh, underneath here in the cupboard, let me just show you. So where my, uh, where my gas pipe uh, comes in and comes round, um, I've then got a little um, uh, on off here so I can turn the cooker off just sort of directly uh, underneath it there which makes that uh, nice and simple so the next little connection to test is my little y bend at the back there we bring the light in so we can see what we're doing so that's better, right. so again let's give that a little spray and again we're all good no bubbling so everything's all right let's just clean all that off and then coming out here let's move that out of the way there he is, so let's give that a little uh, spray root. And we know uh, and we know that's okay. Let's turn it on. Give that side one more little attack. No, nothing. Now I want to, I've done such a good job with these joints, I was hoping to show you one with, which is actually bubbling. Now, I'm not sure I put any Fernox in this side, so let's, uh, let's just see if we can pop him just a little bit. I'll just put you down a second, because that's a two-hand job. Oh yeah, I can hear that. I can hear that now. So if you've got a leak, it will it will do that. Look, there you go. 
that's the bubbling that you get if you've got a gas leak. So uh, let me tighten that back up again. Again, I'm just going to hold that with two hands. I'll just put you down just a smidge. All right. And again, now I have had that undone just for bow and braces. Let's do that again. And we're good. So that is literally all you have to do. And then you know you're okay. And if I come up above here, look, I can... Uh, so we know we've got gas, so I can fire it there, look. So we're okay. Right, there we go. I've, uh, I, I won't film the one on, uh, on the other side where the uh, Truma combi boiler is, because I think we've done that to death now, haven't we, to be fair? So that's all you need. Um, if you want to get yourself up and running and ready to go and uh, feel confident that you're uh, that you're okay gas wise and there's no leaks and uh, belt and braces and all that, um, just a bottle of this stuff. Uh, any good plumbers merchants will sell you one of those or something uh, very similar, and uh, and then you can get the old gas man in for a proper certificate as and when as and when. Um, hope that's been uh, useful to uh, somebody, especially if you're at the gas stage of yours and you're not quite sure how to uh, go about uh, testing that. Um, yeah, I suppose you do have to take a bit of a gamble with... Um, um, oh, oh, I was going to show you the Fernox, wasn't I? Yeah, let's go and do that a second. Okay, so what I did with all my gas joints is I use... So I've set up here, I've got a little uh, 90 degree bend uh, brass one. Uh, here's my uh, pipe and uh, Fernox uh, jointing compound is what I've been using. Um, the yellow one here is for, for gas connections and they do a blue and white one which is for uh, water. Um, so this is the correct one. This one is uh, donkey's years old now. I've had it a long time so it's all a bit dried out and, uh, and mucky in there now but you're still doing the trick. So how I've been making these joints is uh, quite simply unscrew one of these so the uh, the threaded bit goes on uh, goes on first. Then you put your your olive on, and then the uh, the joint, and then what normally happens, of course, is the three could go together, and then as you tighten it up, this olive um, squishes together and uh, and makes the connection, and the connection, uh, contrary to what lots of people think. The connection, of course, is this side of the olive in here, not there. Okay, it's, it's in here uh, where the two where the two meet. Uh, so what I've been doing is just simply getting some of this uh, Fernox just on the end of a screwdriver. It does the trick. Um, this is going to be a bit difficult because this is well and truly dried out now, but you get a flavour for it. Uh, a new one is uh, is a bit more like sort of moist putty really rather than rather than what I got here which is more like plasticine now but uh, basically get a good strip around there where the olive is uh, like so like that and then when you put it together that fur knocks so I twist the olive as I as I put it in, and that gets all that fernox down into that uh, that joint, like so. And then when I put it together, uh, then is uh, as well as squashing the olive, it's also squishing all that fernox in there, which uh, gives you a nice solid joint. Uh, and that's basically how you do that. And uh, by doing that. I've got um, quite a lot of joints in the van, as, uh, as you've already seen on this video. And of course, there's a few on the other side of the van where the true McCombi boiler is. And not a single one is leaked. And in fact, as you saw on one of them, you could, because that Fernox sort of dries and goes solid, you can literally take that off and it's still making a good connection and it's still there and it doesn't leak. You know, obviously you could just pull that off, but, uh, you know, left unattended, that would be quite happy. Um, so it's really good stuff and really strong and uh, it's uh, it's one of those products that saves a lot of buggering about basically 
just put that in it takes a few seconds and you're good to go whether you're supposed to do that i don't know but that's what i've been doing and uh, it seems to be working just fine no leaks anywhere and we're all good the boiler's been tested that fires up that's lovely nice and hot uh, all the joints there have been uh, spray tested cookers all spray tested so uh, actually we're ready so i can go now and uh, fill up the um uh, the gas tank sort of completely uh, all the way to the top rather than just a few litres for the purpose of testing this because I thought there's no point filling it up if you have got a leak and then it all leaks out all over the ground and, uh, and that's money wasted because uh, you know gas uh, gas isn't cheap anymore is it and uh, oh as well incidentally let's just show you the old uh, gauge up there so where before I was registering uh, absolutely nothing now up here if I hold that in obviously it takes a second to uh, um, to think about it um, I've now got uh, ooh, two are we gonna go any further uh, I shouldn't do because I only put a little bit in no there you go two bars so uh, uh, we know that the uh, gas meter is uh, uh, is working fine as well so um, hope that's been interesting and informative to somebody and uh, I'll see you next time round. Bye for now.